Welcome back, True Seeker. It's October 26, 2017. In the world of sports, one of the big news stories today, the Yankees getting rid of their manager, former player Joe Girardi. Again, this is a perfect example of how all of the world of professional sports is scripted by a numerological code. What is true of Joe Girardi's firing today is true of every single thing that happens in the world of professional sports. Today, October 26th, it's the day that leaves 66 days left in the year. In the language of Gematria, Girardi with the alphabetic order is 66. The name Joe Girardi with the reduction method, also 66. So what a day to fire Joe Girardi. Plus it's the 26th. The 26th, Yankees equals 26. Joe Girardi, he's managed for... 11 baseball seasons, 10 of them with the Yankees. If you write out 10 as a word, it sums to the same thing as NYC. Perfect match, 10 and NYC. But with regards to 11, New York's the 11th state. If you add 1 through 11 together, it equals 66. You know, getting fired on the day that leaves 66 days left in the year. Parting ways. I'm sure he'll be on another team next year, all part of the scripted narrative. But this is how it works. Every day, when you read about professional sports... It's all scripted. Here was the story yesterday, October 25th, about how the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, how she's won $8.8 million in horse racing since 1988. They tell you since 1988, she's won $8.8 million. And this is how I figured out Gematria, because if you pay attention to the news, they report like this every single day. Every single day they report like this. If you just read the stories, you're like, uh, is there something I'm missing here with the numbers? $8.8 million since 88? It took me 10 years to figure this out. You know, I started this for 10 years before I figured out that there was numbers behind the words. Elizabeth equals 88, so does Queen. You know, how fitting that she's won 8.8 million since 88. And I'll remind everybody what I showed them last summer, the Donald Trump convention. He came out to Queen. We are the champions. And it was exactly 88 days after the Queen's birthday. And then at the Democratic convention, they had that actress, Elizabeth, whatever her name is, mock Donald Trump, come out to the same song and act all stupid. Another Elizabeth. You guys, every day, the news is this way. That's why my blog has, you know, 20,000 posts since I started doing this in 2013. And if there was a full team of us doing this, there'd be a million posts because then we'd have enough time to decode every single news story there is. Every news story that comes across my path, I take the time to decode it. And I put it out here for all the pe- people to see what's really going on. All news is contrived this way. All sports games are rigged this way. You know, all managers are let go this way. There's no exceptions. This is called Kabbalah. This is knowledge for elites, like people in the royal family. You know, be sure to pick up my book. It's about to release. I'll let everyone know where they can pick it up. Kabbalah. The important rule in Kabbalah is God created the world by merging the letter with the number. That practice is called Gematria. Gematria, Kabbalah, Tree of Life, the Cabal, you know, the political elite. That's where the term comes from because the political elite have the knowledge of Kabbalah, which is not meant for other people. And you know what? Nobody in the world would have a clue what's going on if I hadn't broken the code in 2013. And the only reason I broke the code is because I saw what the media was even without the code. I knew it was here to mock us, make fun of us, lead us astray, you know, terrorize us with propaganda and deceit. I was determined from September 11, 2001 on to put an end to it. You know, this huge, you know, false flag on 911. I don't know how more people didn't see it. And almost everyone made fun of me and called me conspiracy theorist and tinfoil hat, you know, all the crap. And I just, you know, because of all that, I said, you know what? I'm going to prove all these people wrong. I'm going to show all these people they're dumb, ignorant motherfuckers that they need to shut the fuck up, that they need to learn their place, you know? And lo and behold, I find out that the people who are doing this follow this book called the Talmud. You know, the Talmud is what the Jews go by. In that book, it says that people who aren't Jews are lessers. They're fucking retarded. They're a slave race. The purpose of their existence is to slave and work and pay taxes so the Jew doesn't have to, you know? And I'm not slandering these people. This is what it says in their book. And you know what? They're fucking right. They're fucking right. Because most people are fucking retarded. 
9-11, by the way, was a big Jew ritual, a tribute to the destruction of the two temples known as Tisha B'Av, which sums to 911. The two temples, the two towers. It was also the 25th that this story came out on, Horse 25, you know, you see, horse racing. She's made 8.8 .8 million since 88. So if you don't like me and the way I talk and what do I expose, then fuck you. I don't like you either. And my goal is to wake up enough people and form an army and get rid of your fucking sorry ass. And get rid of all these fucking tyrants that do this. Along with all the minions and dipshit they call goyim that fall into their plan. You know, all you idiots who get up and lace up your boots so you can go to work and slave and pay your taxes and then come home and watch your rigged fucking ball games while you don't give a shit about the truth. And you call somebody like me, you know, tinfoil hat, get out of your mom's basement. Man, fuck you. I've been working since I was a child. Haven't lived with my mother since I turned 18. Paid all my own bills. Pay my mother's bills. Fucking retards. Trying to talk shit. Stop speaking about what you don't know. Learn something from me. I only speak facts. It's a good way to speak. Until next time.